you need to remember one thing that pointers can always be used in place of an array. In the sense, let's say I have an array A of 20. I don't have to access the data only using the variable A. If I want to access the fifth element, I could always say A of 6. Or if I want to access the fourth element, I can say A of 5. That is one way of accessing it. But I can also access the entire array using a single pointer. We're going to see how we can do that. So let's say this part is our memory. Now if I say int a of 10. In memory, he's going to allocate 10 blocks and each block is of size 4 bytes because it's integer. So we're going to have 10. This may not exactly be 10. But let's say we have 10 blocks. So this is a of 0, this is a of 1, a of 2, a of 3, so on up to a of 9. And this is a. As we had mentioned earlier, the variable a alone without any index is the starting address. And using a, we can access any block we want. So if I want to access the fourth one, which is a of 3. So when I say a of 3, what internally happens is, he says a plus 3 into size of int. So 3 into size of int, which is, size of int is 4, 4, 3 is 12. So he adds 12 bytes to a. So starting here, 4, 8, 12. And this is where the fourth block starts. So the math is simple. If I want to access a of 9, you would just say a plus 9 into 4. So if I want to access anything, like a of n, would be a plus n into size of n, which is 4 in this case. Isn't that simple? Now, let's say I declare a pointer, an integer pointer, int star ptr. And I initialize the pointer to the first integer in the array. So I can say the address of a of 0. So this is allowed, right? I can get the address of anything in memory. Now a of 0 has an address, a of 1 has an address, a of 1's address is this, a of 2's address is this, so a of 0's address is here. So let's say this has an address of 5000. So I say in star ptr equal to address of a of 0, which is 5000. So he's going to allocate a variable ptr in memory. And this is going to have the address of a of 0, which is 5000 student. So now if I say star ptr, he goes to the address 5000 and fetches an integer from there. Which is nothing but he's fetching a of 0 for me. Let's say, so saying star ptr, I say now ptr plus 1. So what is ptr plus 1? So first, before we see what is ptr plus 1, what is ptr alone? ptr by itself is just the address, which is 5000 in this case. So when I add 1 to 5000, I'm supposed to get 5001. But that is not what happens with pointer arithmetic. In pointer arithmetic, every time you increment the value of the address, it increments by the size of the type of variable it's pointing to. So in this case, ptr is of the type int star. That means pointing to a variable or type int. So every time I add 1 to the address, the address will get incremented by the size of int. So if I add 1, it actually gets incremented by 4. So ptr plus 1 is actually the address. 5004. If I add 2 to ptr, then ptr will actually become 5008. So we've now seen how we can use pointers to access elements in an array. There was not much of a difference. With an array, you use an index number. With pointers, we just did pointer arithmetic. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same thing. Here you say a of 5, otherwise pointer you say pointer plus 5.